Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up new users on your WordPress website, both using the WordPress admin along with the plugin that provides temporary login access. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so here in the WordPress admin, to add a new user, what you want to do is go down here into users and then add new users. First, double check your users table here just to make sure that all the users here are authorized as having admin users that aren't being utilized can result in a website being compromised if a hacker gets access to one of those accounts. So just always monitor your users at least every quarter. Okay, so to add a new user, what you wanna do is go here to add a new user. Okay, and then you're gonna set up a username Let's say an Appalit Media and then add a new email. So I'll just use a different email. Okay, and then first and last name. And then these are just optional. I'll just fill them all out. Okay, and then we have a password here. And then this is important is the roles. Okay, so make sure that you select the right role. Usually you want to at least give editor or admin access. So just make sure you're selecting the right, right role. So you don't necessarily want to always give admin access. Say if they're just writing blogs on your website, you can set them as an author or editor just so they're not able to make major changes to the website, such as deleting users. So if we check over on the WordPress documentation, you can kind of just get an outline of the user roles. So the subscriber is someone who can only manage their profile. Contributor, so this is someone who can say a blog collaborator. So just manage their own posts, not necessarily other people's posts. Then a contributor would be someone who can only write posts, but they cannot publish them. In that sense, you would want to set up a role as an author to allow users to publish their own posts on their behalf. And then an editor is someone who can publish posts and manage posts of other users as well. So this is kind of like a manager. And then you got your admin, which has access to all the blog functionality, as well as features within the website, such as deleting users and adding more plugins and just the whole functionality of the website. So you just want to make sure that you give the correct role to the users that you create. Okay, so in this sense, we'll just create an, an admin user. So click add admin over here and then add new user this user here will get a email notification so let me just verify that here in my email okay and then if you go into their profile here you can just get more details such as you can edit say their profile picture over here or give them a new password if needed this is mainly more important for like authors if you're doing like a like a media website where there's different profiles, so that information would come up here. Okay. So this is the one way to create new users on WordPress, but let's say you want to give just temporary access and you don't want to have to manage deleting users and profiles. We can use a plugin for that. So what we're going to do is go to add new plugin. And then we're going to search temporary login. Okay, this one over here, temporary login without password, and install that. And then activate. Okay, great. So now you're able to create a new user here. So again, it's like the users page that we just worked on in WordPress, but this one, it allows you to have more control over the expiry. And there's no passwords as well. So I'll let me just create another user. So let's say Sean one website at appletmedia.com. Okay, let's fill this out. Admin, and then where do you want them to redirect? And then this is what's important. Say someone's going to work on your website and you know it's only going to be a few days, you can just give them access for one day, one hour, so anything in between. So the difference from now, so as soon as you create the account, it'll start the timer, but say 
you want them to access the account first so you can choose between here so i'll just keep it as from now so let's just give them say one week access and then you click submit okay awesome so now you can send over this link to whoever you're looking to give temporary access to so let's just click on this link over here and then i'll just open up an incognito window here okay and then i'll paste that link and then it appears over here as you can see i'm already logged in without having to enter any credentials and we can see over here we have this temporary access notification where it's telling us that this is only a temporary account so that's good and then again we have complete admin access so we're not limited by this plugin in terms of what we can access it's just there's a, a time limit in terms of how long this account is created for Okay, and then if we go back to our admin account, and if we refresh, even over here, it'll tell us how many times they logged in and how, many, how much more till expiry. And then if we can check over here, we can set it to expired over here by just closing that lock. Okay, and then we can delete the account and edit here as well. Let's go to edit. Okay, and then extend expiry. Let's extend it again for an hour. Submit. Okay, and then again over here, now there's only one hour remaining. And then you have the email here if you want to email the link, or you can just copy the link for the login over here. If you're setting up temporary accounts, this makes it, re makes it really easy as you don't have to deal with any passwords. So having to pass around passwords could be sensitive, like through email or text. So just doing this method will allow you to have more security. Okay, and then lastly, let's just, so within the temporary logins here, so it's still within the users, but it's in its own plugin. Let's delete this account. So just click the X there and I'll delete it. Awesome, and then let's just check our users table and delete the account we made originally. So it's this one over here. So you wanna just delete. Awesome, so now we're back to just one admin user on this website. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to learn how to create new users on WordPress and do it in a more secure way. If you're looking for help with your website, then you can check out maplitmedia.ca to get in contact with me. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.